Last week I showed you the new global list of display configurations. This week I've added some very fancy UI for editing those configurations. We can add a new configuration, which clones the selected configuration. We can delete configurations, and we can reorder configurations in the list. But most importantly, we can now edit configurations. A configuration is a set of colors that corresponds to each possible state of the display, where a state is whether its inputs are on or off. On the left here, we can select a specific state from the configuration by clicking on the ribbon up here, by cycling through states with the arrow buttons, or by clicking on the little inputs to toggle them. Once we have a state selected, we can change its color over here on the right. In addition to editing states individually, we also have a couple methods for setting them all at once. First we have gradients, where the states smoothly slide from the display off color to a given color of your choice. There's also a rainbow setter. This sets the states as a smooth transition from one section of the rainbow to another. You can also set the saturation and value of the rainbow. I'm pretty happy with this menu. It was complex to design and very complex to program, but I think I did a good job. I'd like to add a few more functions for setting all the states at once, so if you have ideas for that kind of thing, let me know. I've also spent some time this week optimizing the menu. In last week's video, you might have seen the game freeze for a second when I opened the menu on this 8-peg display as the game struggled to generate the graphics for these huge configurations. However, as you can see, it's now lightning fast.